All right, tonight I want to talk to you about Muslim female dress and how they make the women wear the burqa and things like that, right? Now, here's the penalty if you don't. Rape. Right. Um, hmm, would you want to wear one? Yeah. Yeah. But I also, what? Uh, don't give you a choice. Don't give you a choice but to wear one or they'll rape you, right? See, that's a forced doctrine as well from Muhammad, right? Sorry, Muslims, that's forced. In Eden, or the perfect state of the earth, we're naked and not ashamed, right? Means you're supposed to be able to go around nude if you want to, and no one should judge you or rape you. Right? It's not your state of dress that's the problem, it's your attitude towards the women, where you will rape them unless they wear something you like, right? That's just as evil, I don't care if Muhammad said it or not, Muslims and Islamists. You're trying to justify rape, right, is what you're doing, by the dress of the woman, right? No. <laughs> That's satanic. That's a jinn, an evil spirit, right? A seducing evil spirit trying to get you to rape women, right? That's never good. That's never good. I don't even agree with Moses when he says a woman should marry her rapist either. That's bullshit, too. <laughs> so I don't agree with Moses or Muhammad on that shit, right? Y'all both fucked up. <laughs> Thinking a woman's state of dress should allow her to be raped or not. You're insane. You're insane. And I know you are, and I know you are. No good man will ever rape a female. Ever. No matter her state of dress. And even if she's semi-conscious and she's not responding, he'll roll over and go to sleep, right? And not have sex with her. That's the point. To some of my stories, which are hypothetical, mean me, mean me. It's just to mess with you, right? Now, again, if someone's acting like they're asleep, you do not force con uh, coitus on them, right? Ever, ever. Now, the sickness is that you think a woman being naked is a sexual attraction for you, right? Sometimes people just are naked, you know, and you're coveting the female, right? That's a sin, too, by the way, in the Ten Commandments, Muslims. And even Moses says, you're, I mean, even Muhammad says you're not supposed to lust after a woman either, either. But you can't blame her dress either, either. And say, well, if you don't wear the burqa or the hot, the face covering, I'll rape you, right? If you don't, right? That's insane too, right? That's like Moses saying you got to marry your rapist to the woman too, right? No, no. <laughs> what you got to do is abort that fucking baby and... Yeah. Leave that motherfucker and put his ass in jail. <laughs> Prosecuting to the full extent of the law in America, right? That's why too. That's why too. Sorry, I just had to talk about that a little bit. Um, so, if you are an Islamic female, the option is wear a burqa or we'll rape you. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to follow that rule. Not! If I want to go prancing around naked and outside and it was allowed, I could, right? Or I go to a new beach here in America or across in the European countries. You're in there by a, you know, if you follow their rules there too, right? That's why they're letting you live there. You're acting like you want to follow their rules. Well, either follow the rules of the country you're in or leave. Leave. No one wants someone there who don't want to be there either. either. You're just a, you know, double agent then. <laughs> who wants a double agent among them? <laughs> That's the point there too. <laughs> a lot of people are double agents. No one's really on the right side anyway. No, not one. No, no, no. I was just trying to learn better than my forefathers, right? But still, I'm human too, right? And look at the whole truth, not the partial truth that men show you, not God. <laughs> God. 
or the spirit within all men. But anyway, needed to bring that up. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.